Yeah. Go ahead. So first of all, uh, welcome to Com Process. Uh, why don't you tell us uh, something about yourself? Uh, my name is Viv Stelle. This is my second year of the two-year program, general studies. I'm in I'm taking dual majors, English major and cultural studies, and I'm hopefully I can when I get out here I'll be a writer. Okay. Uh, so my question for you is, is um, recently. I've noticed that Christmas has started to kind of overpower the, I think personally, much more important holidays that we should remember, like Remembrance Day. Uh, how do you feel on that like subject of Christmas? Um, I, I kind of agree with you that it does seem that it's overpowering more, more, British, more important holidays, like Remembrance Day and Thanksgiving and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like, Growing up, I never truly respected Remembrance Day until I think right into high school when I started to learn more about what the Canadian forces had done for us during World War One and Two, and how they're currently helping us today. Um, like, do you know anything about like World War One and Two? Um, I know a little bit about World War Two, mm. and um, it's very limited. Um, when I was a child, one soldier told me he was um, he was First Nation, Aboriginal. He said that when he was he was a pilot in a dogfight and he got shot down, he was captured by Germans. But instead of putting him in a POW camp, they put him in a hospital. Hmm. They nursed him back to health. And they sent him back home. And they told him this wasn't your fight before they sent him on the plane. Uh, do you have any relatives that have fought in any war at all, like current or old? Um, sadly, no. I, no, sadly, no. Okay. Um, do you celebrate Christmas at all, or is it just like a, not your thing? Um, I used to with my family, but lately I haven't really gotten into it that much. Yeah. The, um, I work at a Walmart too, and I noticed that we sh we uh, released our Christmas stuff out during October. Uh, do you notice any other places that recently just released the Christmas stuff, and have you had any complaints about it? Um, yes, uh, uh, very lots of places that are doing that are releasing stuff, mm -hmm. releasing Christmas stuff, while they're still looking for Halloween and stuff. Mm -hmm. That kind of gets that can like really confuse you sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, like, uh, I mean, whenever I, like, we still have, like, our costumes still at Walmart, and personally, it's like, should, we, I think we should tear down, like, some of the Halloween stuff, and then, then Remembrance Day should be first, and then move on to Christmas, but, I mean, I don't know, it, it just really depends on, again, like, re with religion, like, I know not a lot of people celebrate Christmas, but Hanukkah too, but even then, that's still a, an important holiday to everyone. But uh, have you met like uh, any other like war veterans other than the person you just spoke about? Um, uh, yes, but they uh, not really. Um, they don't feel very comfortable about talking about what they went through. Yeah, well, it was a l very long time ago, and it, they all, I can imagine only being in that situation yeah. with all of, like being surrounded with nothing but maybe even dead corpses sometimes, or it is a very hard holiday to get through. And yeah. I know even in high school when I was at those ceremonies, all the kids were either texting on their phones or laughing and uh, for stupid reasons, I know, for like jokes or something. But um, did you ever notice that, that a lot of people seem to now disrespect the holiday than respecting it? Um, yes, people, uh, lately I found that people are always um, bad mouthing soldiers for doing something like going to this place and attacking these people for no fair reason, but I think it's taking into account that they're risking their lives so that other people don't have to. Yeah, and I, I also know some people who are like that who attack like the Viet more the Vietnam uh, people, but then again that was just a really a completely different war than say World War Two where they were having to fight off a dictator. Is that it? <laughs> um, uh, I can't think of anything. <laughs> um, uh, 
Saved by the Bell. Saved by the Bell. <laughs>